Hey guys, it's Haps. And in today's video, we are jumping right back into the weekly pack. And honestly, I tried to resist this build. I've tried to resist it all week. But when it is there, Slug Snake, you've just got to take it. You know I love a sniper build, and this is one of the best. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you do, maybe like and subscribe. But with all of that said, let's jump in. Uh, and we'll just roll, see if we, oh, we found the fish, which is good. Um, we'll just roll it through. I'm not going to go beaver. I don't really know. I guess sloth is the only thing I'm looking for there. Because we've got the level up on the beaver. We'll bring something else in. We'll level the fish. Um, that's kind of how we're going to roll here. I think this is just a straight up draw. Yep, two back to back draws. Let's see what we can do here. So we're gonna take we're gonna take the beaver level up. And we get Cappy or O Cappy. <laughs> I'm gonna bring in the Capybara. Uh we'll bring in the Bigfoot. And I could take the level now, but I'm not going to. Um, because we won't be able to buy it straight away. We may even greed it now until turn five. We'll see how the next turn goes. Let's do something like this and we'll roll it and we'll send it. Okay, so I'm not going to run shrimp. We're not going to do any buying and selling. We'll keep the big foot around. Okay, so this has worked out. Oh, you're kind of big. I think we lose here. Yeah, and it's, I mean, I was going to say it's close, but it really wasn't that close. <laughs> they had us beat. Um, I take I could take the level up now, but I'm gonna I'm gonna greet it. I'm gonna greet it. We Saying that we could bring in a jellyfish. We could run jellyfish. Let's get rid of you. Let's run a jellyfish here, and we we'll roll it again. I mean, the ogre pogo along with um, jellyfish does work out kind of nicely, but I think we'll just stick with what we've got here. Uh, bring you in, roll, looking for one more level up. There's the level up for next time. We don't go fish three and we'll send it like this. Okay, so we've got the level up on the fish. Would have been nice to have found more jellyfish there, not gonna lie, but I think we get this one done. Okay, that's actually our first trophy. <laughs> that is our first trophy on the board. Level you and we get hawk and slug. I mean, I am a big advocate and a big fan of Slug Snake, and I know I play it a lot, but you know what? I do kind of want to play it. So I think we're going to, I think that's what we're going to do, um, which means that I'm probably going to get rid of Cappy here. I I'm going to take the level up now. It doesn't matter that the Slug's not in the squad, and let's see what we get from you. Another Slug, okay. Yeah, this is what we're doing. We're going to bring you in. We can, we could run separates. We can get rid of the fish. And we'll run separate slugs for now. Put you at the front. Do something like this. We got the free roll, so we'll take it. Uh, and we'll just we'll just roll through these. See if we can find. Oh, there's a jellyfish. And we'll roll one more time. Okay. We could keep going with the Bigfoot as well. We may pivot off this, but at the moment the idea is just to run slug and then to pick up some snakes later down the line. Okay. Nice. Good clearance. This is good for us. I do love a sniper build. I'm going to find it very hard to resist it this time around. I'm going to do this, this, roll. Bring you in. Uh, roll again. There's the Bigfoot level up for next turn. And then there's another Bigfoot. Don't need it, but we also get the Jellyfish level up, which is pretty nice. So we get two level ups into tier fives next turn. Okay, slugs. See, they're running something very similar, but they actually have the horse. Um, good clearance from you. And we actually get it done with the one. Something quite satisfying about getting it done with the one. Okay, level you into, tur I mean, turkey, there's beluga. Uh, there's everything good about this. Uh, I think we'll take you leveled up as well. And I mean, the alpaca, I don't think, I don't think this works for us. I think we'll sell this. We'll bring in turkey. Turkey slug for now makes a lot of sense. We're not going to run these. We could... I think we just stick with this, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring in a snake. We're going to roll it and roll it again. We don't have anything to run waffle with right now. Roll and roll one more time. Okay, we'll send it like this. I mean, obviously, we got the opportunity of bringing in um, the beluga whale with the slugs in instead. But I think, uh, I think, yeah, I think we're just going to run with just um, slug straight up and the turkey. Now, this time round, what am I, I mean, what am I really looking for here? Like I want to, I kind of want to level the slug 
so that we can open up a slot so that we can bring in, say, the Gariel or something like that. But until we find it, we're just going to end up rolling through here. We could buy Croissant for the extra stats, but again, I don't feel it's necessary. I'm just going to roll through and see if we can find an extra slug, maybe, if the game will allow it. No more level ups here. I mean, Jellyfish, I don't think we take you any further. I don't think it's worth it. Um, Easter egg onto you. Easter egg on second slot, not on first slot. Roll and then roll again. Okay, we'll send it like this. Because if we put the Easter egg on the first slot, unfortunately it's not going to work out um, because it will just yeet Monty into oblivion. Because you've only got one space for it to, um, it to summon. Because we're going to be racing, basically running Slug at the front, followed by Snake. Oh, again, another 1 HP win. We're going to run Slug at the front, followed by Snake. We're not taking Jellyfish any higher. We've already established that. We've got some free rolls, which is nice. Um, chocolate. This goes on Turkey here. Roll again. Again, we're not going to run this. Um, I'm basically just keeping... We could bring this in for the stats, but I'm just going to keep rolling through. I don't want to buy sell you. How have we not found any more slugs? Just quietly, there's been a distinct lack of slugs and turkeys here. We we only found a chocolate there. We only added chocolate, and this team's way better than us. But we do have the Monty, which actually was kind of big there, and we're gonna get the draw. We got the draw. Their their melon is popping. Thankfully, not um not before we face them. There's the chocolate. We add that to you. And we get the snake. Okay, the snake's coming in. And I think I'm going to keep the Bigfoot around. Oh, but, but you've been really, really handy. You've been very handy having you at the back. But I think this is the time we, the time for you to go. Snake comes in. Let's roll it. There's a cow. I mean, look at this setup. Unfortunately, you can't run this um, because, well, I mean, as soon as you buy one cow, these get removed. But like cow and waffle here, kind of crazy. I have to bring the cows in. We have to bring the, the cows in for the stats. We're going to do this. We can add this to... I don't really... I'm not too concerned about the stats on the slug at the front. Um, I'd rather keep turkey alive. And I'd rather keep snake alive here. So we'll add a bit to each. And we'll roll. Roll. This is pretty nice. We'll be adding to the snake for sure. There's a slug. There's. I mean, we're, we're on our way to a slug level up. There's another turkey. Okay. So we're actually one away from a level three turkey if we want to run it that way. Okay, we're going to be giving them a lot of gold. We're going to take down the Monty though. Oh, the Monty got yeeted. In fact, quite a lot got just completely sent um, sent packing. All oh, the, the Grizzly kind of scary. Monty, and we get it done. That takes us to six. I mean... We'll, I think we'll probably get rid of the cow. I know the stats are, there. I know the stats are there, but I could run double turkey at the back here. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna add this to the snake, and then I mean, I really, I'm not too concerned about getting the slug leveled up. Um, oh, if we'd have done one more roll, we'd have got the cow as well. We'll hold this. Maybe we find steak. There's another cow as well. But double turkey here is kind of big. I mean, it's just, it's actually just t terrifying how strong this little combo is. Like, we don't really need the stats unless we face something similar to us. Uh, we're going to do this. Maybe we find, okay, we'll take the, I mean, we could, we'll take the melon here. We'll take the melon, add the melon to, now I, I want to protect the turkey. Um, so I'm going to add it here. You could protect this turkey at the back as well, but um, we'll just add it here for now. Roll it. Now, I mean, mushroom on this turkey at the back is good protection, so I'm going to hold that as well. Roll, roll, and I don't think we need this. So we're basically just looking for snakes at this point. Um, okay, the Nurikabi kind of scary because it takes so much to take it down, but Monty comes in. Monty turkey is wild. <laughs> it's actually wild. Okay, there's some protection at the back. We'll roll it. Slug level up. Nothing for us here. I mean, Orca we could bring in, but this is the squad. This is the squad. We're going to hold chocolate. There's the snakes. Oh, it's all coming together. 
Everything is lining up. Everything is lining up for us. We take Snake to level three next turn and hopefully... Okay, oh, we take down the turkey. They're running turkey with the mushroom. Another snipe on the turkey. That's actually huge for us. They're running the seagull Easter egg. Love, lo love the build. Love the build. It's actually, it's actually kind of close. It, it is a crazy, um, it is a crazy combo, but we get it done. The double snipe on the turkey at the back was actually the difference maker there. Add this to you, and then we'll take the one roll and we'll send it like this. The level three snake, can we get it done? We've lost one heart so far. A lot of stats on this team. We take down their snake, which is nice. Can we take down anything else before the stats go? We can. But then we have the Monty does good damage. Slug comes in. The melon actually helps. And there it is. There it is. The mushroom at the back gets it done again. So many times. I actually have completely lost count of how many times a mushroom or like an Easter egg or anything, even, even honey pot at the back saves the run. Well, there we go. There we go. There we have it. The snake slug. It's a combo I love to do. It's a bit of a classic for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, maybe like and subscribe. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.